How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be cleaning out and organizing this enclosed trailer here, getting it all ready for installs and just for future work and uh, personal use. But most importantly, we're going to be installing an air conditioner to actually condition this enclosed trailer. Let's get into it. Yeah, so this material is actually um, for making another packaging of Dolly. That's gotcha. what it's for. So, so let's get anyway, it. we can just take it out and we'll, I'll figure out where to put it. Okay. Um, once we get everything out of here. And All right, so while JC is cleaning out the van, getting that ready, I'm gonna unbox this air conditioner. So this is an RV style air conditioner. It's gonna mount, it's an, like an, um, an all-in-one unit self-contained the mounts on the top of the trailer and then this is like the interior trim kit so it'll make it look nice on the inside this is made by turbro and if i'm not mistaken let's see I may have to open it up to see the size of it i think it's a 15k the fm 15h so i believe that's a 15,000 btu this one has electric heat so it is just straight cool uh, with electric heat on it so i wanted to get the the they, ha they do have an inverter one they're coming out with but it wasn't ready yet so for now this will work fine um the plans with this trailer I actually use this for two things uh one hvac work doing installs carrying extra material that sort of thing and then secondly because i like to keep it typically um, cleaned out and organized well, where the stuff can come out of it pretty quick. I use it as like a small toy hauler. So uh, the family and I, we like to ride dirt bikes and we like to go camping. So throw the dirt bikes in there in the back and then we camp and sleep up front. Um, we don't do it a ton, but it's nice to have that. And with having, you know, air conditioning in there is gonna be freaking amazing. Uh, some heat as well. And I've got a generator. This is a 110 system. So I've got a generator that can run this no problem if I don't have any you know, power wherever I'm going. But if I do have power, then I just plug into it. So um, the goal is to have multiple things um, on 110 volt circuit. I have a small little uh, microwave I'm gonna put in there as well. So if we're on the job, we wanna heat up our lunch, we can do that. I'm gonna do a surface mount um, 110 receptacle. I guess it would be a, a male uh, plug that's on the outside. So that way all you have to do is get your uh, 30 amp uh, extension cord rated for 30 amps, plug it into the you know outside of the uh, trailer and go run it to your power and plug it in and you're good to go. So anyway, I'm gonna get this thing unboxed and figure out how we're gonna get this installed. This is going to be sick. Even even on a hot summer day when we're doing installs and we want to go sit down in, in the trailer and eat lunch, or if we got to build yeah. a shroud or something, it's going to be at least meeting. we'll have a little break and we can. You know how they set out those little trailers on construction sites? Yeah. It's exactly what this is going to be. It's going to be a little mini office in there. This thing's pretty light. It's pretty so that's it fin mark and this thing so this is uh it's plastic but it's very rigid plastic that's nice that looks good a2l refrigerant what does it got in here probably r32 454b maybe i doubt it all right, well, I mean, looks like we need to find a manual for this thing and see if it's got like a little cut sheet template to figure out how to cut the hole in the top of the trailer. There's really not much to it because it's self-contained. Um, I think there's another kit that has, 
some bolts and hardware, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. So this is, okay, so this is the uh, soft starter for the unit. So it's probably just a glorified hard start kit. Um, so that way when it starts up, it's not drawing too much current. So anyway, I'm gonna go through all this and figure out what the heck is going on and see about getting this thing mounted. I'm excited. I'm gonna put it right in this, between these two joists. So I'm gonna figure out my center line. Pull that drill bit out. All right, so 14 and a quarter by 14 and a quarter. So that means seven and an eighth. Something along those lines. 14 and a quarter. All right, so because this is very sh thin sheet metal and on the bottom side, there's just some really thin material as well. I don't want both materials like flapping as I go to cut. So I just ran some uh, sheet metal zip screws from the bottom up to keep them sandwiched together. And I'm hoping as I cut it, it'll stay together and I won't, it won't be fighting me. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Sweet, no wires. <laughs> All right, so to install this soft starter, it actually needs to go inside the unit itself. So I, I gotta take this shroud off and um, remove the wires from the compressor or cut it rather, and basically wire this in series. And then I think we'll be ready to get this thing installed. You got your snack pack? <clears throat> All right, cool. So, looks like by reading the manual, manual, we have compressor here. It looks like their orientation is like this. All right, so we got the soft starter mounted over here and we ran our wires, extended them, cut the wire, cut the cable to the compressor, um, made one long enough to where it went directly into this connector. And they supply these connectors, uh, which work really nice. And then we extended the wires on this one to reach down to there. So looks like we are all wired up and get all this put back together and get this thing mounted up on the roof. Good. Yep. Good 
Go. Do it together. Mm -hmm. Here on the front. What do you think? It's good there. Oh yeah, you got all the boom, boom, boom. A boom, 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 boom. <laughs> you think we should like? Yeah, I was looking at that, but it's all. Well, I guess the thing is gonna sandwich it. Yeah, we won't see that. So once we put the grill on, it's gonna get sandwiched. So we should be fine. So the next step is to figure out this sponge, this air duct sponge, which thickness we got to go with. There's three different sizes depending on how thick your roof is. It's probably going to be the sh smallest one. Um, but we'll, let's find out. This side. All right, so install is now complete. Other than the uh, the high volt wiring, as far as we have it temporarily hooked up. So because we don't have any type of a ceiling, it, there's there's nothing there to run the wires into. I had to run, or I will have to run the wires um, external up hot up on the top. So I'll have to go into like you know the base of it, maybe with some um, seal tight and then do some kind of exterior type of uh, conduit or something. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do there, but for today, just to get this thing turned on, I just wired in this pigtail here. All right, so we jumped the gun a little bit and found out that this unit needs 12 volts DC to power up basically the control module and everything that the remote talks to. So you do have to get 12 volts DC as well as the 110 high volt. So for now, I just got a cable ran here and powered up a little Milwaukee battery just to give us, uh, so I can test this out. Um, what I'm gonna do is whenever the truck is actually connected to the trailer, um, we get 12 volts. So I'm just gonna tie it into that system and we should be good to go. If I ever need to add maybe like a 110 to 12 volt DC converter, I could do that and mount it inside the unit up there. That way all I have to worry about is plugging in 110 volts and that circuit will power up that in a converter to give the 12 volts DC. So that's an option too. But as of right now, we're, we're I just turned it on, we're running. We got some little LED lights all the way around, some little mood lighting, it's, it's RGB. So you can change the color of it and everything. It's pretty cool. Well, that's gonna wrap up the install video for this particular um, AC system. Of course, I've got a little bit more wiring I need to do um, just to make it more permanent and find a better solution for that 12 volts DC. I could always install like an auxiliary battery, like a car battery in here. I don't think I wanna go that route. Um, I either wanna have it where it's tied into the truck, but if I disconnect this for whatever reason and to, to take the truck somewhere else, I, wanna be able, I want this to be able to operate independently. Um, so I'm thinking I'm gonna probably get one of those converters. That's probably gonna be the best solution. So anyway, um, 
we're gonna wrap up doing the inventory on this, uh, everything that came out of here. And it's gonna take some time to figure out how I wanna set everything up in there. Uh, I've got some Milwaukee pack outs that we're gonna put up front, but um, we gotta go through the inventory on the white van as well. And we just had a service call come in, so we gotta run and go do that. But um, I'm gonna do a recap, and I'm sure you'll see this in future videos anyway when we're doing installs. But whenever I get everything like permanently wired in, and it's looking really good, then I'll kind of do a recap how I did, how I set it up and um, kind of give you an idea of how it's been working as well. So again, it's just you know a cool thing to have whenever we're doing installs. If we want to take a break and get out of the sun and or if we want to do some, you know, you know, bend some sheet metal, whatever, uh, we have that as an opportunity to do that. And then secondly, for just personal use, it's going to come in handy having that AC up on the roof. So Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. You got something out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, see you later.